During my junior year in high school at the age of 16, my schedule consisted of nine periods per day. The highlight was fifth period, which served as my lunch break, followed immediately by my astronomy class, located in one of the school's basement classrooms. In the sprawling expanse of my high school, spanning three floors, the demand for classrooms surpassed the available space. As a solution, two classrooms were constructed in the basement, a place that once served as a janitorial area and exuded an eerie ambience when unoccupied. Despite its previous function, the basement had undergone a transformation to resemble a typical hallway, with one notable exception. There were no intercoms or loudspeakers at that time. Consequently, the basement remained silent during the morning announcements, earning it the moniker, The Chamber. Students coveted classes in this secluded section for its air-conditioned comfort, perceived ease of courses, and the luxury of having its own bathroom. On a particular day when we had an astronomy quiz, I found myself finishing early, a testament to my familiarity with the subject. With a sense of boredom creeping in, I decided to reach out to a friend in the other basement classroom. After a quick text, we agreed to meet in the basement bathroom. Following this plan, I exited the classroom, strolled down the narrow hallway and entered the basement bathroom. In a matter of seconds, the door swung open and my friend JJ sauntered into the bathroom. We indulged in some banter until JJ glanced at his phone, revealing a text notifying him of a school lockdown. Our exchanged grins mirrored the shared thought that this unexpected turn of events presented a unique opportunity. We had slipped away from our respective classrooms unnoticed by our teachers, granting us unrestricted access to the school during the lockdown. Intrigued by the prospect, we decided to sneak upstairs and explore the dimly lit hallways just for the thrill of it. The potential consequences were minimal, perhaps a brief explanation about the basement's lack of audible announcements when we opened the door to the main floor. However, upon our ascent, we were taken aback by the complete darkness. Typically, hallway lights stayed on during lockdown, but this time they were all turned off. This departure from the norm heightened our unease, leaving us uncertain about venturing further. Stepping cautiously into the dimly lit hallway, JJ and I exchanged glances. As we looked down the corridor, a figure emerged from the shadows. Initially indistinguishable, we struggled to determine if he was a teacher. However, as he approached, it became evident that his attire deviated significantly from any staff members. He looked more like a disheveled outsider, dressed like a vagrant. Quick, let's get back to the basement. I urged JJ as we hastily descended the stairs. He acknowledged, expressing that he had indeed seen the mysterious figure. Upon reaching the basement, we noticed both classrooms were sealed with their doors shut and lights extinguished. To avoid drawing attention, we opted to conceal ourselves in the bathroom. With a swift motion, I turned off the light, and both of us squeezed into the corner stall. The room fell into complete silence. No hum of ventilation, no hum of heaters, just the rhythmic sound of JJ and me breathing, occasionally interrupted by a drip from the sink. Suddenly, the bathroom door swung open, allowing a fleeting moment of hallway light to invade the darkness before the door swiftly closed again. Pitch blackness enveloped us as JJ and I strained to control our breathing. The silence was so profound that we could discern someone approaching our side of the bathroom. The footsteps halted, replaced by heavy breathing, intensifying our fear. In a moment of imprudence, JJ whispered in my ear, suggesting that I crawl out through the other stalls. However, even in the hushed atmosphere, JJ's whisper seemed to echo across the room. The heavy breathing outside our stall ceased abruptly as the person attempted to push the stall door. Sensing the urgency, I whispered, Go! JJ, go! Swiftly maneuvering, JJ and I crawled beneath the side wall from one stall to the next until we emerged on the other side of the bathroom. The person outside was now aggressively banging on the stall door. Reacting quickly, we rose from the floor, swung the door open, and as the light flooded the room again, we were startled to find the same man from upstairs in the corner. Without hesitation, we raced to JJ's classroom, where the teacher promptly ushered us in. Within seconds, JJ explained the situation to the teacher, who locked the door, revealing the alarming detail of a gun protruding from the man's pocket.